confident in what sets you're gonna run. And the timing and spacing and stuff like that, you can't simulate the adrenaline rush, the environment of the fourth quarter down the stretch uh, until you get into it. But, Those things we obviously have to practice the only time we get a chance to work on it and make adjustments from game to game if you have to. So, um, you know, every basketball team in this had to figure that out as you go along in the season and get ready for play. I that's probably the hard part is that defense are going to be as cranked up as possible at the moment. You probably get scouts out there. No, you shouldn't even have to do that, really. I mean, we, we understand what it's like to play an NBA game and play crunch time situations and whatnot. Um, so you shouldn't have to really overdo that in practice to really get benefits and to actually make improvements. So, uh, like I said, it's more just clarity on what calls we're running, where everybody's supposed to be on the floor, what we're trying to get out of each possession, like what options they're going to be. Definitely not this Mason. Strange to think about because you figure but it was about a year ago when Steve almost re you know, when he rejoined you guys after that long period of absence. How, how much better does he? Seem most days uh, around you guys. Uh, I guess it's normal in a way to say he seems like his old self. And, okay. Uh, you know, he's been through a lot. Uh, he's physically trying to, uh, you know, just recover from the surgeries he's had. And I, I can't imagine just the frustration, you know, how long it took and the things he had to do. And, all the doctors we met with, because this whole story is it's crazy. So, um, you're obviously happy to have him back. But not, not only that, just, you know, you should see him in, in, with energy and uh, his presence like he, like he, uh, like he wants. So, um, it's been good to see. You guys have basically been home now for a couple of weeks. What's the, what's, what's the good and bad of that? Are you home for that period of time, or is it all good? Uh, probably the only bad thing is I get on, I fall behind on my uh, staying up to date with the latest movies. Don't have much time to sit in front of the TV at home. Other than that, it's pretty much all good. You get to play in front of your home fans, get some home cooking, sleep in your own bed, get your normal home routine. You gotta take advantage of those kind of stretches just to not only get wins at home, but just rejuvenate your mind and body. Uh, being in a familiar setting for almost, besides the Sacramento trip, almost three weeks. So that's, uh, that's big. Is that something that, was the timing good for that? Um, I mean, yeah, considering how crazy the travel schedule was at the beginning of the season. Every team plays 41 at home, 41 on the road, and you can get it you know, any type of way. So I don't know if they, this kind of extended uh, stay is, is rare, but it's, uh, like I said, it's just an opportunity for you to kind of just get your routine right uh, and take care of home court advantage. Steve also said the dinner, you know, before this Zach game was important. For, it was nice for you guys to have it team dinner during the stretch too. Uh, that, that was over dinner. <laughs> yeah, except I wasn't there. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I don't know what they, they talked about. Um, okay. Nah, but yeah, it's, most, sorry, most people that go to our team dinners and stuff um, and enjoy that kind of setting because you, you're there, it's just a team. Nice that we get that opportunity because most teams you kind of have to get it on your own and whatnot. You don't get that kind of camaraderie, uh, a built-in kind of time together uh, if you want to you know, take advantage of it. How closely do you watch what other teams do, specifically uh, forward joining Cavs? 
Uh, I mean, obviously, know what's going on in the league. And, and, um, you know, every I'm watching games every night, um, keeping tabs on what's going on. Just uh, not only as, as a fan of the game, a fan of what, what, just watching basketball, but um, like I said, keeping it a nice landscape of what's going on. So um, that's a move for them that uh, they thought was necessary. And, see how to play out, but it has nothing to do with you know, our mission, our goal, and anything else like that. Much respect. All right.